back to the Hoots Turner Ceramics channel. Today I'm going to be turning this basin. It's actually the first basin I've ever thrown. It is required to be 40 centimeters by 20 centimeters deep. So I threw it to 45 and to about 25 high and it's shrinking with uh, the moisture coming out of it. I now I'm going to turn it and I'm going to do the special hole. So I've done my measurements, six centimeters across and about 4.2 over here and then it's got quite a tricky little slope believe it or not that's actually seven mil that angle so i have to tailor this to fit the fitting but i also have to times 12 percent shrinkage on so i have to throw this to 6.8 this to 4.7 and then that slope is 7.8 so it's always working with the shrinkage to get what you want so i might go slightly bigger than that just to play it safe otherwise there's lots of filing to be done and that sort of thing I'm starting by just making sure that the rim is nice and even now I'm going to go around the edge take off the unevenness here you can see it's quite a bit coming off nice sunny day I'm a bit in shadow but quite isn't I'm now just going to start working the outside making sure that this angle is nice I think I feel like giving it a nice groove there okay now I'm going to start doing the inside of the pot I'm just going to be using this tool coming down here I'm just doing a little bit of turning not too much it's actually going to be decorated by a lady who has ordered this she's a decorator she couldn't throw the basin so she's asked me to throw it for her so I'm going to bisque it and she's going to decorate it and uh, then I'm going to glaze it for her so it's going to be exciting to see what she comes up with and she wants a nice room because a lot of decorators like to have a nice room to decorate my metal kidney is a great tool just to really get in there and smooth it out and the lady wanted a very deep basin this basin in three parts here one coil two three and then a small coil on the top just to end it all as you can see I've done a lot of turning on the inside and now the inside shape is quite a different angle to the outside shape the outside shape is quite t-bowly so I'm actually going to take off that big bulge I'm going to be quite aggressive with how hard I pull I know there's quite a lot of clay I can feel Follow the inside shape. Okay, so that angle is looking good. You can feel it's matching on the inside. And now it's time to actually cut where I'm going to put the foot. So as you can see, I'm taking a fab skewer. Find these where it's ruining me. And I'm just gonna cut down a nice line like that. got this stick which is just a little bit uh, 4.5 and needs to be 4.7 and this stick is uh, 6.87 so that's going to be the outer the outer rim so I'm just going to do this with the slide just slightly like that and see if that lines up my inner line which is this one which is smaller and now I take my cutting stick like this finding my line decided to start smaller always make the hole bigger actually this is a pretty good tool just to put it on like this the bottom yay and then I'll tailor that outer measurement which is this one turn this pot over and um, work underneath and then I'll flip it over again taking off all the 
little bits that stuck to the bat. And then the inner line, I'm going to give it an actual, not a completely flat bottom, because there could be quite a bit of weight here. I'm actually giving it a nice thick foot. I'm going to the size and the thickness of the rim is going to be the thickness of the foot. So it's quite a thick rim. I'm going to give it a slight roundedness. I'm just going to little bit more of a cut down on the foot. Quite deep. You can actually feel through the hole here that it actually goes quite a good angle. Take quite a lot of its weight away. I'm going to give it a little bit of a grip on the foot. Try and flip it over. It's always a tricky situation. I'm going to sort of pop this like that. Try and do a flying putt trick. So this could go very wrong. rim detail I've left here. So I'm just going to cut it in a bit more and, and then underneath just get it a little bit more tension. Smooth it with my finger. And then right at the bottom this nice detail line there too. Okay now I'm on the final stages. Tape measure. It's 4.7 so I'm playing it safe just under 5. And then over here, this measurement um, is about seven. I'm now just going to cut down this inner measurement with this tool here. Now you can see it's quite a lot bigger and obviously it's going to shrink. I am a little bit nervous that it might be, I'd rather have a little bit extra than being too tight for the fitting. So I'm just going to go a little bit extra. Play it safe because you can see that this actual part here, if this was reversed, that, that there will be more than enough space. So that's starting to look good. And then there was this little bit of an angle. So I'm just going to give it more of a slant. Okay, feeling quite proud. It's all done. I made it slightly deeper. I just felt that there's also glaze as a thickness, so I added that onto it. And I'm just going to sign it. I'm just going to roll on Hoots Turner at the bottom. Okay, that looks good. I'm putting the little four leaf heart clover over this side. Normally I put it at the bottom of my bowls, but because this has a hole in it, I'm actually just going to draw it here. So it's done. The hole in the bottom. I'm just going to do it like this so I can see that it fits perfectly, goes through, all good. Very happy with my basin. There we go. I'm just going to show you the gradient of my hole so I went a little bit deeper than I said I was going to just to play it safe. There we go, hole in the basin and um, thank you for watching today and please like and subscribe to my um, channel, my YouTube channel for more videos and if any other potters out there have any better tips to share with me about doing a hole for a basin that would be great that is the first time I've ever done a hole actually this is the first time I've ever done a basin so it's been uh, quite fun and a challenge and I've really enjoyed this process I will let you see how this comes out after the gaze.